So, all right, we're at the Central Ohio Bushcraft Gathering, and I'm with Randy Smith of Stitched Gear. And uh, Randy, what are we looking at? Uh, Jamie, this is uh, a one wind hammock. Um, I am uh, the only dealer right now in the United States for one wind. So we just thought we would set this up with um, all the options. Um, this is a uh, 10 foot six hammock. Can't remember how wide it is. Um, but all of their hammocks, uh, except the ultralight, uh, comes with the bug net. Nice. All the tree straps and the hardware. Uh, so it, it all comes, you've got the buckles here. All right. You've got your buckles, you've got your ridge line, the hammock, and the bug net. All right, so that's a structural ridge line, which is a brilliant thing to have. Yes, it is. Keeps the angle the same every time. Yep, so once you get it set up, you're in pretty good shape from then on out. You know, Randy, I slept in a hammock for 10 years straight. I went down to Brazil, saw how people lived in the Amazon. They've been living in a ha hammock their whole life. Yeah. And so when I got home, I threw out my bed and I slept in a hammock, hammock for 10 years straight until I got married. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So that's pretty awesome. I, I've got I've got a particular love for hammocks. And so we see you got what well, you're the you're the only distributor in the United States for one win hammocks currently and, right now. Yes. And which model is this? Um, this is their it's a, it's an extra large. Uh, but it's 10 foot six long. Um, I do have some 11 footers I'll have on the website, which is stitchgear.com. And we'll have a link to that below. Yep. Um, I just haven't had time to get them on, but I do have those. They're in OD green. Um, and word has it that they are going to come out with a 12 foot and a double layer here soon. So uh, we'll be looking for those. Uh, we've got this one set up with the snake skins yeah. on here. Those are really convenient to have. Especially when you're setting up Absolutely. and if it's misty. Absolutely. Uh, until you get your tarp put up, uh, your hammock's going to stay dry. And then I see the under quilt there, yeah. Well, this is actually uh, a little gear hammock. Oh, okay. It looked kind of like it was an under quilt. It's a little gear hammock. Yep, it's a little gear hammock. And then... With this being waterproof, you can also use this for a backpack cover. Sure. So if you get out in inclement weather and your backpack's not 100% waterproof, this is going to give you a little more can, uh, waterproof protection. That is slick. Do does uh, do, do does one wind also do uh, top quilts and under quilts or? Yes, they do. Um, I just got an email today. Um, they're going to be sending me some under quilt blanket combos, which I haven't seen. Um, and I'm going to have to try and figure out what they're doing. Um, we used to sell the under quilt and the blanket separate and then a top quilt. Um, they're still going to go with the top quilt, uh, which has got a really nice foot pocket in it. Um, but the, the bundle is new, uh, and I should get those this week. So as soon as I get them in, I'll try and get them on the website. And what, what are the prices on these? Um, generally, the hammocks are going to run anywhere from, if you get into a single, about $50. Uh, the 11-foot extra wide um, hammock is around $75. Um, and what is what do those come with for that? Uh, price just the hammock or uh, no all of the hammocks are going to come complete the hammock the ridge line straps and buckles straps and buckles and okay. the mosquito netting okay so not the snake skin not this the yeah. snake skins are separate and uh, not the uh, gear hammock not the gear hammock okay um, the Did snake I... skins roughly I think are don't quote me around twenty dollars yeah and the um, the gear hammock is around 25 I think. Well, 50 bucks for their, that, that's their entry model. A single hammock? Yeah. Yeah, single hammock at 50. That's very reasonable. The, uh, the prices are very reasonable and the quality is, um, that's why I wanted to, to become a dealer. 
because of the quality. Um, they've, uh, they've recently come out with a 12 foot tarp and they've got pull outs on the side so you can kind of set it up as a wall tent. Uh, I'm actually using that this weekend and I've got a lot more room. Um, and we've talked about when they come out with a 12 foot hammock to go with a 13 foot long tarp. Mm -hmm. So you've got six inches on either side of your hammock. And that's if you're, uh, that's if you're running it as a, a rectangle, not a diamond. Uh, as a rectangle. And then also they, um, the one thing I like about the wind, one wind tarps, they all come to where you can close the ends in with the doors. Very cool. Um, I have had the one wind hammock system down to 18 degrees with pretty good winds and snow. And I buttoned that thing up, had it low to the ground, and I stayed toasty in there. That's great. With their top quilt and under quilt? Yes, sir. Well, you know, what I think is interesting about this, Randy, is that you're a maker, primarily. I am. And so for you to, to become a, a distributor, or what's the right word for that? Dealer, a dealer. I guess. Yeah, a dealer. Um, that says something, because you're a maker. That, that's what you do. So you're not going to be a dealer for something that you don't, I mean, you stand behind your, your brand, your name, as a maker. Right. To be dealing something else, that, that should mean something. And it does. Um, I use all of their gear. Um, you know, Blackie Thomas, Dan Lutz, um, Mike Denny uses some of it. Um, so there's a lot of people now starting to catch on to the One Wind. Um, their, their quality and their price point is what really drove me to One Wind. And I get to talk to the owner almost on a daily basis, and she is constantly asking me about the quality. Are they meeting, you know, our quality standards? And, um, you know, I keep telling her, yes, they're doing a great job. So uh, as long as they can continue um, with their quality, uh, I'm gonna stand behind them. That's fantastic. Uh, do they have a warranty or anything like that? Um, their warranty basically is if you're not happy um, or something fails, they will replace it. Excellent. Excellent. I, I've never had a hammock fail on me. Because any, any good maker should, you know, that shouldn't be a problem. So what would you say to somebody who's never gone camping in a hammock? Uh, I would say that if you're thinking about it, um, one win would be a great place to start. Um, up until last November, I never hammock camped. I was a ground pounder. Really? Uh, canvas tarp, um, canvas bedroll, cowboy bedroll, and wool blankets. Um, I'm getting old, a little arthritic. Well, I, I just want to show. <laughs> yeah. We're, 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 we're big guys. We're, we're, right? And it. And, and I don't know about you. I said, uh, you know, I slept in a hammock for ten years. It was the most comfortable on my back. Oh yeah. yeah. I, I mean, so. Yeah, and once you get in these hammocks, these are all asymmetrical. So yeah. once you get in, you gotta sleep on that diagonal. That's and you the turn trick. fifteen degrees. Yep. You're laying flat. Yep, you're laying um, flat. No banana action there. I'm a side sleeper. Yep. So I Me can too. even roll over on my side. Me too. Yep. Um, they're just, they're a great product. Yeah. Um, they're a really great pod product and they've, they've got a lot of new things. They're a new company. Uh, they've got a lot of new things they're coming out with. So, uh, I'll try and keep up with them. Um, I am pretty busy doing all the leather products, but, um, I believe enough in this product that, uh, I want to promote it and, and get it out there to people. Well, you know, you mentioned Blackie and Dan and, and, and Mike. Now, not too long ago, we had the opportunity. I wasn't there, but via the magic of YouTube, I was able to see Blackie's setup. Yes. Where Dan, Dan Lutz, who, if you don't know what Dan looks like, um, just imagine Hulk Hogan. Okay? <laughs> Sasquatch. Right? He's, you know, seven foot tall and 400 pounds. I, I don't know how much he's he three, is. He's right around he, three. He is a 
big boy. He's a big guy. He is a big boy, and he got in that thing. And if if it if it can handle Dan Lutz, well, he actually got into the ultralight, the eleven foot ultralight, and. I actually, she sent me one, and I'm I'm right at 300 pounds, and and it held me. So um, the 11 foot uh, extra wide hammock, um, they put a thousand pounds in one of these, and nothing failed. Wow. So um, you know, even if you're a bigger bigger guy or yeah. person, I should say. Yeah. Um, these hammocks aren't gonna they're not gonna rip and tear up on you um, like I said I, I strictly use it now uh, summer fall spring winter uh, I'm gonna learn the one win system in and out so if you guys have any questions I'll be there to answer them. now Randy you've got a YouTube channel also I do it's um, stitch gear outfitters uh, I don't get to post a lot of videos because I'm usually working about 90 hours a yep. week in the shop. And you've got, you've got some old ones on there, too. I do have yeah. some old ones. Yeah. Um, we're going to try and do some this winter um, with the One Wind system uh, for doing some winter camping. Uh, a friend of mine is a, is a really, he lives close to me and he loves to winter camp. So we're going to try and shoot some, some YouTube videos this winter. Uh, they'll probably be short, short, sweet, to the point, but uh, I'll kind of go over, you know, my setup and how I set things up and uh, just the under quilt and the blanket. I'll have the new style then, uh, so I'll be able to show everybody what that's all about. Fantastic. So, well, and anything else that we need to look at or? Uh... No, I don't think so. It's been a great event. Um, yeah. Caleb and Jason has done a wonderful job and they have if you guys uh, didn't get a chance to come this year yeah uh, put this on the books for next year because this is a really really good event great people at all these events so. and these facilities that I'm just gonna pan the camera around this is really cool we've got 300 acres here there's flush toilets and showers in there and uh, just a vendor's row here and a lot of good people, a lot of nice leather. And uh, if, if, if I can plug your Stitch Gear leather tinder pouch. Yes. It's just a beautiful thing, thank you. Well, thank you, uh, Jamie. We've, um, that's one of our products that we're really, really proud of. Um, we've sold probably in the last three years about 750 of those. Um, I'm just guessing. Uh, we've got a lot of companies that uh, do carry that bag also. Uh, Townsend and Son is one of them. Uh, Self Reliance Outfitters carries that bag. Um, that that's one of the only products I think that I make that uh, could potentially save somebody's life. Sure. Absolutely. Um, so God we're, forbid. Yeah, we're really proud of that bag. Um, it's uh, it's a leather bag. We put uh, two coats of our beeswax finish on the inside and out. And uh, Jamie's been a big promoter of that. He's used it for what a year and a half now. Probably about a year and a half. Yeah. Yeah. So and, and I've got a lot of tender bags. Yours is not the only one, but it is by far the nicest. <laughs> well, thank <laughs> it is you. By far the nicest. Yeah, we, there was a lot of thought put into that. That was about a four month uh, prototype R&D. Um, and we, we did test the first hundred of them uh, for a solid minute underwater and had no failures. Um, that bag was designed to be put in another bag. Yes. Uh, so that bigger bag is your first layer of protection. Right. And then, of course, if it completely got submerged, um, you know, your, your tender bag is going to be able to keep your tender dry. Now, now the way that I use your tender bag is, well, I hardly ever use it. And what I mean by that is that I have other tender bags that I go and gather with. Right. But yours is the one that's in my pack that's ready to go. So in case of an emergency, it's there. And that's what, that's what the intent was. Um, a lot of guys have asked me to modify that and put a little belt loop on it, and I won't do it. 
um, because that that's not what it's not the philosophy of use yeah that that wasn't the intent the intent was if if you're and I know um, Mike has been out in uh, rainstorms on the Appalachian Trail and uh, he's actually told me that uh, well here he comes hey Mike Sir. come here <clears throat> we're talking about the waterproof tinder bag oh. and uh, you had told me a story one time about you and your dad out hiking the AT and you guys got in a rainstorm oh, and that yes. bag kind of so oh on that one yeah explain <laughs> I mean <laughs> it kept the tinder dry like I can't really you know I mean other than that like yeah it kept the tinder dry we were uh which I don't know if it was me and uh, dad. I think it was one, me and one of my ex-girlfriends. Okay. But yeah, we got, it's all good. It's all good. No, we got dumped on all night long. And, you know, I was I was kind of lazy on my tarp set up, admittedly, that night. And so I kept filling up water. And I was up for most of the night dumping that out of the side just to keep us dry. And the next morning, everything was soaking wet. And I got up and cracked open that gender bag. Dry gender was in there. You know, hit it with the, I probably used the lighter, to be honest. Well, for the sake of the story, we'll say I use a pair. Oh, right, you're right? not so a real bushcrafter. Cool. Yeah, right, right. right? <laughs> <laughs> God, I use the old thumb drill. I'm going to lighter shame you. But yeah, I mean, it's solid as a rock. Like, I carry it yeah. in my pack every time I go out. Love uh, the thing. I was just explaining how I very rarely use Randy's Tinder bag because it's, well, it's it's almost always with me. Yeah. But it's the one I, I store stuff in. Yeah. I don't gather with it. I keep the good stuff in yeah, there. Yeah, it's that emergency I, source. For, it's that emergency yeah. source. It's a rare occasion that I ever crack it open. But if I need to crack it open, mm -hmm. it damn well better be done. Oh, yeah, you can definitely buy with confidence on that. Absolutely. Like it works the way it's supposed Absolutely. to.